Phantoms Anonymous. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Phantoms Anonymous, guys. We're here today. Let me adjust my mic real quick. Why do I why do I never prepare my mic before I do a video? It's always in the way. But we're here today, guys, to talk about a very special topic that's near and dear to my heart. Something that you see a lot uh, in our today's television shows, movies. But today I'm strict, sticking strictly to television. And I'm talking about time travel shows. Now, there are so many different shows that have done time travel over the years. But I'm specifically sticking to certain shows where their main basis is each episode they're doing time travel. Uh, there are some honorable mentions like Frequency. It's a show that was on the CW. Uh, Heroes did some time travel. But, you know, I'm, I'm sticking to shows that were mainly about time travel. So I got a little list here. And we're going to go through a couple of these shows. But first, let's talk about what time travel shows really mean. Or what time travel means, period. It's basically when you travel to the past or to the future and some type of apparatus, no matter what type of thing it is, I've seen different types of time travel machines. And we're definitely going to go through them all uh, in these different shows that I watch. So, one thing about a time travel show or time travel period is if you're doing it on television show, you have to stick to your rules. If one of your rules is do not go, don't go to the future or to the past and interact with yourself because you could change things, you have to stick to that. And a lot of these shows have stuck to that and a lot of them have not and they create certain plot holes, but we'll definitely get to that later on. Time travel is something that probably will never exist, although I wish it would. It probably, it probably will never exist, but you don't know. You don't know these days. A lot of you, know, you don't know what type of scientist, mad scientist man is somewhere in the basement right now saying, hmm, I've almost completed this that I'm doing. I just need a flux capacitor and uh, a lightsaber and I need this and I need that and we will, I will time travel. You really don't know. You don't know what the government is cooking it up. The government could be time traveling and doing stuff we don't know about. The government could have time traveled and that's the reason we got Donald Trump as a president. They went back in time and fixed something up or well, make people like Donald Trump and all that. You never really know. You really don't know. But let's get to it. I'm going to start off with one of my favorite shows, Timeless. Timeless is a show on NBC where you have a ragtag group of individuals who are going through time chasing this guy named Garcia Flynn. If you just saw my Timeless video, Timeless uh, was a show that got canceled and then it got renewed because of the impact that the fans had and their, uh, their voice about the show being canceled. Uh, we, like I said, you know NBC for being the, the title I like to call them. NBC, nothing but cancellations. Always canceling something good when the budget gets too big. Uh, but in Timeless, their, their, their time travel each and every episode to different parts of time. One thing that's hilarious is every time they try and try travel somewhere and the black guy on the show uh, named Rufus is always somewhere where a black man is not, not a savior character. He's either a slave, not liked, not liked, slave. <laughs> it always depends on where they go. Uh, but, and you know, their, their method is to time travel back to stop this evil organization that's rooted in deeply in the government. Remember I was talking about government earlier, they might have some type of time travel apparatus, but it's an uh, organization called Rittenhouse that's uh, rooted deeply in government and uh, Garcia Flynn's uh, ideal was to go back in time and stop Rittenhouse. And as much as they thought that he was sort of a villain per se, they realized in the end that there was a me method to his madness. Uh, as far as the first season is concerned. So I'm excited that the second season is coming out. And they pretty much stick to the rules of their time travel. Don't go mess with anything. If you do, something's going bad is going to happen. And um, it hasn't been a situation where they did mess with something and they got back and nothing changed. No, every, like every time they go back and change stuff and interact with certain things, it does affect them when they come back to the uh, present. So I like Thomas, love Thomas. I hope you guys go check it out. You, of course, I think the first full season is on, if I'm not mistaken, it's on Netflix. Uh, of course, you can see it on Hulu as well. So, Tom, this great show. Glad it's coming back. Glad it was renewed. Next, I'm going to go to Legends of Tomorrow. 
uh, each and every single episode. And one another one of my honorable mentions was The Flash, because The Flash does a lot of time traveling, but it's not the main method of the show, so I forgot to mention that. But Legends of Tomorrow, DC TV show, uh, Andrew Kreisberg, Greg Brown, shout out to you guys. On the CW, Legend of Tomorrow is about a ragtag group of superheroes. And it looks like when it comes to time travel, you always have a ragtag group of people traveling through time. So we got our man, we got Firestorm, which is a combination of Jay Jackson and uh, Professor Stein. We got Captain, we got Captain Steel. We got um, the Adam, Ray Palmer. We got Vixen. We have uh, White Canary, which is uh, Sarah Lance. We got Rip Hunter. Um, who else is on that on the crew? Uh, Heat Wave and the Captain Cole. You know when he was in season one, and their ordeal is to travel through time and stop aberrations. Which means if I went back in time and told my younger self, "Hey, look here, don't get all this stuff with AT and T because you call and you know it sound good and they letting you get it because you got you know you haven't opened up a line of credit." Don't do it. Don't do it. And I go back to the present, which is now, and it affects something overall. Hopefully it would make something good. My credit would be good now, you know. But my credit is going up because stuff is being paid off. Pay off your credit, people. Pay off your credit. But they would go fix that because whatever was supposed to happen with me getting that crap with AT&T was supposed to happen. And I was supposed to learn something from it and not go back in time and make an easy fix. So I'm learning something from it rather than going back in time messing it up where the uh, legends will have to go and fix that aberration. Uh, but they deal with more of the superhero aberrations. Um, they deal with more of sometimes stuff when it comes to different wars and when it comes to different situations in time. Uh, they even had an episode where they dealt with the Long Ranger and some stuff that was going on with Indians and stuff like that. So they uh, one thing about them is that Sometimes they stick to their time travel rules. Sometimes they don't, and it's easy to pick out. Like uh, towards the season, the season finale, when basically everybody was staring in front of everybody from different time periods. You got Stein in front of Stein, Jake Jackson in front of Jake Jackson, Firestorm in front of Firestorm. Everybody staring at each other. They're interacting with each other, uh, but something did happen after that that caused a big time quake and caused time to just be so messed up that at the end of the season they wound up somewhere where it was a metropolitan city with nice buildings and dinosaurs at the same time. So something did happen. But sometimes they don't stick to their time travel rules. And, you know, that's okay. You know, writers may miss things sometimes. It may overshadow and things of that nature where they, they, they don't realize that they caught it or not. But... I still like Legends. I hope you like Legends. Season 1 and 2 is on Netflix. You can also check it out on the CW app as well. I love the CW app where you can watch it there for free. Uh, but the uh, Legends of Tomorrow, they're, they're really big on time travel. That's what the whole show is about, going through time, stopping everything, and correcting issues. Another show that I just landed on called Making History. It's a comedy on Fox. Now, I was scrolling through Hulu earlier. Uh, I scrolled past and I was like, hmm, I, I already had the mindset to get sit down and do this video. But when I scroll past this, this just helped me add to the list. So in Making History, you have this ragtag group of individuals. Uh, you have this guy who's uh, a the maintenance guy at this college. Um, he has a time machine that apparently his dad made. And it's made out of a big duffel bag. I mean, a big huge wide duffel bag where it's enough for somebody to get in it and time travel so what he was doing was traveling back to like 1776 1775 and was dating Paul Revere's daughter and what happened was with him dating his her his daughter and it threw everything off and the American Revolution never happened and the British were still roaming around and Paul Revere never rolled out to say, you know, the British are coming, the British are coming. So that was what happened like in the first two episodes or so, just to, you know, the premiere of the pilot or whatever. He teams up with this history teacher. And a lot of times in these shows, they have somebody who knows history. Let's look at Thomas. You got Lucy. 
uh, who's the star, one of the stars of the show. She's a history teacher. Let's go back. Let's go to Legends of Tomorrow. You got uh, Commander Steele. Um, I can't even remember his name. Nate. You got Nate. He's a history buff. He's a historian. And then you go right here to um, Making History, the, the TV show on Fox. Uh, you got Chris. He's a history teacher at the college. And one of the funny thing is that's not all of their uh, people in their group. There's a girl named Deborah, which is Deborah Revere, Paul Revere's daughter, that um, that the guy brings back toward uh, what's I can't remember his name. Drew. His name is Drew on the show. If I'm getting from wrong, guys, correct me. Um, he brings her back from 1775, and this goes to show you where certain time travel stuff doesn't apply. Because I would think if you bring somebody from way back when, that when they came to the future, they wouldn't exist anymore. But some shows overlook the certain things like that, or if they can't, you know, some shows overlook stuff. But she's in the future with him now, living and having to learn what certain stuff is, uh, having to learn what certain items and what to say and what not to say. There was a couple episodes where she was actually going in the woods and hunting for squirrels and stuff like that. And just like she would do in 1775, you know, hunting and cooking. Uh, but it's hilarious. It's hilarious. I'm on like the third or fourth episode. I'm going to keep watching it. It's, it's good to have a good comedy. But it's just funny. And I want to learn more about the dad's work and how he created the time machine. Because apparently the dad is deceased. So let's make it history. It's on Fox. Check it out. Uh, another show that I think just recently got counseled called Time After Time. It's about Jack the Ripper. If you guys remember the story of Jack the Ripper, he was, back in the past, he was abduct, seducing women and, and murdering them. It was a fetish that he had. And now he's in travel to the future in the time machine that Orson Welles built. And Orson Welles is traveling through time to the future, which is now in the present, to stop him from what he's doing. Um, I watched the first episode, the pilot episode. It was kind of cool, kind of steampunky like uh, London or whatever. And he's in the future now. I didn't continue to watch on, but like I said, the first episode, I was like, okay, it's kind of cool. But it was something that I knew I wasn't going to continue to watch going forward. So check that out time after time. I, like I said, I think it got canceled. Another one that I have not checked out, and what I thought it was on ABC, but it's actually on Hulu. And I'm actually going to go take a look at it. It's 11-22-63. That's the date that uh, JFK was shot. So you're starring James Franco as a Hulu original series. James Franco is a history teacher. And even in uh, Making History, that guy's a history teacher. Um, uh, time after time, Orson Welles is not a history teacher, but he created the whole time travel aspect. But James Franco is a history teacher, and he's trying to stop the assassination of JFK, uh, John F. Kennedy. So I haven't checked that one out. I don't know how they time travel on there, but it's something I'm definitely going to check out and take a look into. And I'll let you guys know about it. But if you know about it, let me know about it. But it was another thing. It was one of the things I was doing my research on different time travel TV shows. So I'm definitely going to take a look at it and see what it's all about. But it's very interest, interesting. Because let's, let's talk about this. Or let me ask this question. If there was something that you could stop by going back in time, what would it be? What what would it be? Uh, I'm gonna get a little personal. I would want my mom passed away when I was 18. I would want to go back and undo that because I'm growing up. I'm married. Uh, got my own place, working, supporting myself, and I want her to see that type of stuff. But I would not have gotten where I am if that event had not have happened. Kind of like a Barry Allen situation. Barry's always trying was always trying to save his go back in time and save his mom. So I, I realized that or one thing we have to realize is that certain things happen uh, in time. Certain things happen in certain situations, and that's just how things go. So what event would you change? And understand, we of course, we understand the knowledge that certain things happen for a reason. But if you could change an event, what would the event that would you, would you change or go back in time? So let us know that in the comments below. Of, of what that event would be but time travel shows are definitely taking over but I feel like it's getting so saturated with so many of them and it's like they notice the hype that they that they're getting that it's gonna put a dull lull around them like legends you know legends is on the CW so it's connected to DC TV shows but you got stuff like timeless that got canceled and it, it really probably had a lot to do with the other time travel TV shows they got the acts too like time after time 
and um, some of the other stuff. So, of course, uh, Thomas was brought back, but time of time is gone. Uh, so, that's one thing that we have to be leery of. These shows that come on, let's watch them, let's support them, uh, let's share on, share on our social media pages that we're watching them, because a lot of the people are looking for that in Hollywood who are making these things. But guys, I definitely enjoyed this conversation with you guys talking about time travel shows. What are your thoughts on time travel shows? And don't forget to answer that question. If you could change something, what would it be in your life if you could go back in time and change it? So let's talk about that in the comments below. But guys, if you don't know who we are, we're Phantoms Anonymous. That's F-A-N-D-O-M-S, A-N-O-N-Y-M-O-U-S. We're all over social media. Don't forget to go over here to YouTube where we are right now. Subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for future videos. Also, head over to Facebook and join our Facebook group for future discussions. And hit the like on the Facebook fan page as well. Also, head over to Instagram where we're at fandoms underscore anonymous 17. And also, head over to Twitter where we're at anonymous underscore fan 17. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. The new episode of Fandom Talk is up. A lot more uh, reviews and reactions and things of like that. It's all on the channel. New episode of Inferno's PS4 Play Share is on the channel as well. He's uh, my, my man Inferno is playing the Marvel uh, Heroes Omega on PS4. So check that out as well. Check out our one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, we did one with David Fielding who plays Zordo on Mighty Wolf from Power Rangers. Don't forget to go way back and check out our interview with Jason David Frank, the original Green Power Ranger. Check that pop right there. Got it signed. Uh, and a lot of other different interviews talking to different people. We have a lot of different playlists with a lot of different segments unboxing videos, all types of different things that we do here at Founders Anonymous, and we want all of you guys to enjoy what we do. But guys, as I always say, if there is anything else, thanks for watching, and have a good one.